Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today we're going to be talking about tiles. Now, tiles are really cool in Game Maker. Basically, what they allow you to do is create several images based off of one sprite sheet, and instead of creating multiple objects or instances that are running in the background, constantly checking for code, tiles basically act as solo images that are placed inside the room and don't really have anything going on in them. So tile doesn't have any collision, there's no code going on other than the fact that it's being drawn to the screen. So if we go up to our backgrounds tab and create a new background, we can call this tile underscore brick and then we'll load a background from a tile set. So if I go to my desktop and I go down to custom sprites, go to brick strip round. All right, so here we have our tiles, basically just a sprite sheet. So we wanna click use as tile set. Now right here, the tile width and height will decide how large your tile is. So since these are 32 by 32 images, we're going to set them to 32 by 32. We don't want to do anything with the horizontal offset or the vertical offset or the horizontal separation or vertical separation. Basically what these do, horizontal offset and vertical offset determine where it starts starting at the top left corner. So if I pressed five and five, you'll notice all of them have shifted down and right five pixels. So if we just delete those, you can go to horizontal separation and we'll do five again and you'll see that they have spread out five pixels in between each one. But we don't want to do that right now since all of our tiles are side by side. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Then we can go into our room, go to tiles, choose our tile set, tile underscore brick, and here you can select the tiles that you want to draw with on the background of your room. So you'll notice here that it's set to layer Oh my goodness, what is that, 100,000 or 1 million? I don't know, that's a lot of zeros. Anyway, this is set so high so that nothing is ever drawn behind the tiles as the tiles are meant to be used as sort of a background. All right, so now that we have our tiles selected, we can go ahead and begin drawing with them. Okay, so here we are. We have this nice little brick pattern drawn out with our tiles. So if we go ahead and hit play, you'll see our tiles have been drawn in the background, right? Okay, so everything looks like it's working good. The tiles are all set in place. Everything seems dandy. But what happens if we zoom in on the tiles? Okay, so to do this, we're gonna go to views enable the use of views and visible when room starts we're going to actually go back to our objects and this player object just has very simple movement code in it nothing other than movement code so if we go back to our views view underscore zero we want it to follow our object for our player and so the view in the room width and height are currently set to the size of the game Okay, so we want to actually cut that in half. So 512 by 384. All right, so if we zoom out, this is the view that we'll currently get in the room. One more thing we want to do is select H border and V border, because this will determine how close our player can get to the edge of this view before the view starts moving with the player. So we actually want to set that to half of what we have for view in room. So H border would then be 256 and V border would be 192. Okay, so if we hit the check mark and go ahead and run the game, you'll notice that in between our tiles, we're getting these weird little lines, all right? These are little tears in our tile set. And basically why this happens is because, say you have a 32 by 32 image. All right, so if you zoom in by two, the tiles will then be 64 by 64. But say you zoomed in by an uneven number like 1.54. Okay, so each pixel is one little cube. Basically, what your graphics card is trying to do 
is figure out what to put between that pixel and 1.52 of another pixel. You can't have 1.52 of another pixel. Each pixel is a pixel. So what it does is it makes something up. It just randomly makes it up. It grabs invisible sprites, basically, or excuse me, pixels. It basically just makes up the pixels. So now I'm going to show you how to make proper tile sets. So if we go into our tile underscore brick here and we edit it, we can zoom all the way in and see that there's nothing around each of these, okay? It's just tiled off side by side. So, if we go into our sprites and create a sprite, and we'll go ahead and create from strip, and we'll add our bricks, what we now need to do is choose, okay, so I think there's nine, and there's nine per row, they're both 32 by 32, and we don't need to mess with any of that. So now we have our tile set that we created as a background, but now we have it set as a sprite so we can edit it. You can use more traditional photo imaging editors such as Photoshop or GIMP, even Microsoft Paint, but for the simplicity of this tutorial, we're just going to be use the, using the built-in Game Maker sprite editor. So if we go to Transform, and resize canvas, what we want to do is add 8 pixels on each side. So that would make these 40 by 40. What that'll allow us to do is add 4 pixels on each side, 8 pixels to the overall image. Alright, so what you want to do to make these tiles work properly is basically take whatever this outside color is and drag it over. So if we have black here and black here all the way around, we want all of this to be black. And then we're gonna wanna change these colors also. So now our image is totally filled in. The reason I left this part blank was because they're rounded corners and we want this whole part to be transparent. Alright, so what this will do is it'll take our base image right here. This is the actual sprite itself. And whenever we zoom in, instead of our graphics card trying to make up something that it can't find outside here, it'll pick a color that's actually here. So what you'll want to do is go through every single one of your images and add that little border to the outside. What I've already gone ahead and done is made a fixed one. So if I create a new background, name it tile underscore brick fixed and load, I can select mine, use it as a tile set, and this is where things get a bit more important with the horizontal offset and the horizontal separation, also vertical. So, of course, our tiles are 32 by 32 still, but we're going to want to add a horizontal offset of 4 pixels and a hor or vertical offset of 4 pixels. So now our tiles have moved to the proper starting location for our first tile but you'll notice that they're still side by side. And if you recall, we added eight pixels overall to the image, so four pixels on each side. So that means that there's eight pixels in between this tile and that tile, respectively for all of them. So on the horizontal separation, we want to add eight. Now it's grabbing each individual tile in its own respective spot. So if we get in, into our room here, we can draw ourselves this exact same little layout using our fixed tile set. Alright, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and close this, 
and hit the play button. All right, so moving over, you see that we still have the lines between our original tile set, but moving farther over, you'll see that our new one doesn't have these lines. That's because the graphics card isn't trying to make anything up, it actually has a color to go ahead and pick from. All right, so that has been our little discussion slash tutorial on tiles. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment down below what you thought, what I can improve on, and maybe some suggestions for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe for those future videos, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.